I've said in this talk and many times in my book, we are dying from the day we are born. But I also want to remind you, we are living until the moment we die. If we knew when we were going to die, we'd be able to answer that question, right? If you knew you were going to die in 10 years, or if you knew you were going to die in 20 or 30, you could then spend accordingly and make sure you used your money the way you wanted to do it. Unfortunately, we don't know that, so we need a proxy. And that proxy brings us to act three of our three-act play, asking what scares you most. Are you more scared that you are going to die young and wealthy and never enjoy your wealth? Or are you more scared you're going to live to a ripe old age, use up all your money and run out? Young and wealthy versus old and broke, YOLO, you only live once, versus deferred gratification, spend today or save till tomorrow. If you ask yourself that question, what scares you most, you then can start working on that continuum between YOLO and deferred gratification and start deciding how to spend for today and tomorrow. So let me give you some examples from my life that I think help make this somewhat more clear. My father knew he was going to die young. He told my mom when he married her, he said, I don't think I'm going to live to an old age. So my father was a good example of that first, worried that he was going to die wealthy and not use his wealth. So he made decisions accordingly. When my father finished his fellowship, he got offered a really lucrative private practice job that would have taken up all his time, but he would have made a lot of money, and he passed on it to go work at the veterans hospital where he was going to make half but he was going to enjoy his work more and he had more time to be with his family. My father loved photography and pursued it. He loved travel and pursued it. He didn't really worry about having money for retirement. Yes, he protected his family. He got life insurance. Yes, he was making sure that my mom had a plan if something happened to him. But worrying about what was going to happen in 40 years just wasn't that important to him. So if you are in this group, and let's say you make $100,000 a year, and $50,000 of that goes to housing and transportation and food and all the necessities, you've got $50,000 less. If you're worried about dying young, maybe you take 40 of that $50,000 and put it in a YOLO fund and do things that are important for you now. Don't wait. Do them. And then you take $10,000 and you put that to defer gratification into retirement. So what happens if you do that? Well, let's say you're right and you die young, at least then you used your money to do things that were important to you. Let's say you're wrong. If you're wrong and you live to an old age, it's true. You're not going to retire at 40. You're going to retire at 60 or 70. But guess what? All those years you've been taking fabulous vacations, you've been using your money to support your values, you've been doing what you want to do, doesn't sound so bad to me. So let's look at the other side. What if you're worried that you're going to live to a ripe old age and die broke? That was me. So if you make $100,000 and $50,000 goes to necessity and you have $50,000 less, maybe you take 40 of those 50 extra and you put it towards deferred gratification and retirement or investments. And then you take 10 and you use it now for YOLO. Let's walk out those scenarios. If you're right and you live to an old age, you're going to retire at 40 or 45 and you're going to have tons of years to do whatever you want and YOLO to your heart's content. If you're wrong, it's probably the worst case scenario of all four scenarios. If you're wrong, you know, you did put $10,000 towards YOLO every year, and you had the dream of becoming financially independent, which probably excited you quite a bit. But we can't control everything. I think this is the best way to work through that continuum of spend now versus save for later. And everyone's going to be a little different. Some people are going to save 20 and spend 30. Some people are going to save 45 and spend five. It's different for every person, but until we start thinking about these things, we can't figure out how to spend and how to save appropriately so that we can enjoy today as well as tomorrow. So I've presented to you a play in three acts. Act one, defining your sense of purpose, identity, connections. Act two, building a path to financial independence. And act three, asking yourself what scares you most. I've said in this talk and many times in my book, we are dying from the day we are born. But I also want to remind you, 
We are living until the moment we die. You see, I've been lying this whole time. There is no play. There are no acts. This is your life. So do me a favor. Do yourselves a favor. Live the shit out of it. And certainly don't wait till you're on your deathbed to start giving yourself permission to do the things you want to do. Live well.